Hey, howdy everyone, Mosity here, back in action for more Edgeworth Attraction. That's right, we're playing more Ace Attorney Investigations 2, uh, The Prosecutor's Path. And we're at Gordy Lake Park area, uh, audience area, the left side specifically, investigating things to see who shot the president. Because apparently things are just that dire at the very beginning of this. So... Obviously, there's there's thing here, and I can I see this thing right here specifically. No, this looks like a gun though. L let me see. Oh, can I present to her? Let's let's talk about the case, reporter. Uh, let's go about the case. You come here to cover the welcoming event. You betcha! I wouldn't have missed it for the world! The time did the event start? Started after the rain uh, stopped pouring. It had been raining all morning long. The president's uh, plane got here at 1.45 p.m. Then the president uh, began his speech around 2 p.m. When did the shooting occur? Hmm, I reckon it happened somewhere around 2.20 p.m.? It occurred around about 20 minutes after the speech began. Yep, it was right then. The sound of gunshots ripped through the air. And the poor old president collapsed on the stage. And that's uh, what went down. On March 25th, uh, tw uh, 2.25 p.m. at Gordon Lake Park. Was that all of a sudden? Oh, that? I was just recording some notes. Here's for my report. If I think of something good, I take note of it right away. You know, often you get a chance to cover a president assassination. Gotta make it dramatic and heart-wrenching. I'm gonna write me one action-packed article. The president actually collapsed on stage. The bodyguards escorted him onto the plane, sir. Ah, uh, you'll have to a uh, part of my embellishments, but sometimes I get a little carried away. Seems that would be best if I took this woman's testimony with a grain of salt. Okay, reporter. Well now, I guess you could call me a reporter. <laughs> it sure sounds different when uh, someone else calls you that. Reporter Nicole Swift. Yep, it's got a nice ring to it. Just to be clear, you are an actual reporter, correct? In Trayton. What? How many articles have you written so far? Oh, you mean like actual published works? None at the moment. Yet, you still call yourself a reporter. Well, this case is going to put me in the spot in the spotlight. I'm going to uh, capture the whole entire speech perfectly. No bloopers at all. With this mic, this tape recorder, I'm going to be a shining star in the broadcast world. Just like my mentor. Yeah, what about your mentor? So, Mr. Prosecutor, how do you know my mentor? You're the one who brought up the subject. Mm, I may or may not have said something like that. As a reporter, you should take responsibility for your words. But my mentor always tells me, reporters should always uh, leak information freely. What a public nuisance. She told me that when she gave me this guy here tape recorder, get out there and record all the scandalous scoops you can get. So you create smoke where there's no fire. Amazed you call yourself a reporter. I don't start the fires. I just ran out of the smoke. Uh, I just ran out the smoke. Okay. As far as 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 far and wide as I can. Isn't that what I s just said? Well, let's let's present her with this. This here's the famous. Uh, why ain't you wearing it? Not just my custom. I see them uh, attorneys wear them all the time. What do you have uh, to say about that? No comment. Hmm. The difference between uh, public prosecutors and private a attorneys uh, becomes clear as day. I appreciate it if you didn't fabricate such false statements. Uh, let's probably say something with that, yeah. That moment the prosecutor presents his evidence. Fatally shining, shine. Um, 
Oh, what are you just show me? Hmm, never mind. Yeah, okay, so she's not gonna... I imagine she would at least give notes about this. Speaking of which, he ain't giving me uh, my interview yet. Well, let's begin. What's your favorite food, Mr. Prosecutor? <laughs> it's tea, pal. He even has his own original blend in the office. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor's uh, quite the uh, bourgeoisie, eh? Who are you calling bourgeoisie? And why are you answering her questions, Detective? It's all right, sir. I know pretty much all there is to know about you. Well, what else can you tell me? It's dangerous to leave these two alone. <laughs> Poor Adrian. Ain't no way he's gonna come out of this one, you feel me? All right, salmon? It's a wooden signpost. It seems to be erect uh, recently. Let's see. The Gordy Museum is about 50 yards ahead. 50 yards from here. What is it, Detective? Speak up. 80 yards from here. Uh, there's a boat rental shop. It really hasn't been very long since I was involved in that case. That brings back memories, Detective. Yes, sir. It brings back memories for me, too. Oh, he's sad about it. Why can't I even- this looks like a gun! What is this, actually? A flag? Who is this man again? I went to pain and I'm willing to assist as a prosecutor. <laughs> He's a prosecutor? Why did he come here today? <laughs> I come behind uh, the chief prosecutor. His voice sounds like the one I heard on the tape earlier. Is he one of the men standing in front of Miss Swift? And where is the chief now? The chief is a busy man. He had special uh, permission to leave the premise. The chief called me here and then left by himself. Not completely satisfied with this. That sounds sus as heck. I'm pretty sure it's the chief that done did it. A am I wrong in, in, in thinking that? Because it certainly feel like it. Y'all need to go through the garbage? You prosecutors got a tough job. Detective Gumshoe. Right away, sir. <laughs> So the detective's job to go through the trash. Prosecutors don't uh, want to dirty their hands. Mm, let's see. I hope I find something good. Detective uh, seems to be a little too eager about searching through the trash. This is a wooden popsicle stick. Detective. S -s Sorry, sir. Wait, let's see. Something related to the case. Um. Look what I found, sir! Yes, good work. Let's have a closer look. I need to view this object from various angles to uncover the truth. Hidden within. Yes, sir! Just give me the word and I'll spin the evidence uh, round and round. Hold that button and do that to rotate it. You wanna zoom in or zoom out? I'll move the evidence for you, sir. Okay. So we gotta start to zoom in. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. Find something suspicious. Please let us know immediately, sir. Move the cruise to the spot of interest and press that button. Alright, let's give it a try. So... Hmm. it's anything in here in particular it, it should be inside done it's a 
document of some sort. Let's see. President uh, Sakili detail. These are the plans for the President Sakili, sir. Picks the security layout. Bodyguard's names are written on here, too. Oh. Body, uh, the bodyguard's names are written on here, too. Rookie and Knightly. Hmm? The bodyguards are not from the Republic of Shengfa. It seems that the president hired a local uh, security firm. Why didn't he just use the police force of Zing Pa? You want to know the reason? <laughs> That's another one, uh, big scoop. Do you know something about it? I was just at Zing Fa and Basby the other day, fixing to get some uh, news material. That's when I heard. Sounds like the president's uh, got plenty of enemies. He also uh, don't get along too well with the top brass of Zing Fa police. Let's see, doesn't even trust the people of his own country. This could be related to the assassination attempt. Okay. But why would this document be in the back? That is a strange indeed. It concerns the safety of the president. Normally it would uh, be under tight security. Mm, uh, this bag, uh, there's something else in it, sir. Gun! This is... It's a g gun, sir! Miss Edgeworth! Uh, could this bag have belonged to the... Indeed. It is possible that assassination... That... <laughs> the assassin may have thrown it away. It's a revolver. Something like this to appear in a place like this. Is this the work of the professional assassin? You must have used the document uh, to carry out the crime, sir. Revolver. I will need to take a closer look at it. It's just, it's very confusing. We could examine it? Oh. This would be the grip. I held the grip of several guns in the past, but never been a very pleasant feeling. Examine, but I don't think we're supposed to examine any of this. Bullets. There we go. Why are there bullets here? This gun fired two bullets. That matches the number of gunshots heard. It's supposed to be the murder weapon, sir. Anything else for this? Fired two bullets, yeah. Please. Should be more because like the game isn't like really like putting us away from it. Like why does it have like as many barrels as it does? Kinda weird, isn't it? Or just guns like that. out a bit. This is a laser pointer? It's implement you attach a gun to help you aim for a, with a laser, sir. Let's press, let's press here in the... It's firing a red laser, sir. The assassin used this laser point uh, to talk to the president. Provided us with lots of uh, useful information, uh, evidence. A dumpster diving roll paid off, sir. Good work, detective. I have one more request. Please tell the forensic team to check the gun and the back for fingerprints. Yes, sir. Contain fingerprints. It would be a huge uh, breakthrough in our investigation. 
I got the results back, sir. That was fast. Of course, I made them double time it. Unfortunately, uh, we couldn't find any fingerprints, sir. Are you certain you did a thorough research? Of course, we combed every uh, inch. Uh, we took out uh, the boards and examined them, sir. I expect that this won't be easy. We, we got that far at least. Don't be talking to this guy. You're one with the television crew, you're not? No, um, that's right, but. Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. The, yeah, um, about that. That would be difficult. What was that? What was that, pal? Uh, it's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, uh, the guests knocked over the TV uh, camera in a panic. All of which was lost. If there was any footage left, it could have been vital evidence. Yeah, it's too bad, sir. <laughs> what was that? Looks like you're in a jam, Mr. Edgeworth. That voice. Hey! <laughs> It's Kay! Yay! <laughs> I love her. She's great. Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. The hero of justice. <laughs> Kay Faraday is here to save the day. Hero. Uh, I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So have you given up on this great thief business yet. No, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still in training to become the second, uh, Yatakurasu. About two weeks ago. Oh, about two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. The mysterious phantom thief, the Yagatarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. This girl is the successor to that great thief. You need to pick a lock or untie a rope? Leave it to me! But, since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to join in the festivities! I just seem to have a fondness for these kind of events. Afterwards, I thought I'd come and meet up with you guys. Well, we're glad to see you. <laughs> you look like uh, you've been doing well, pal. It's been a while, Gummy. I'm glad you're well, too. Hey, you said earlier that you could help us out? <laughs> Please don't be surprised, Mr. Edgeworth. I took a photo that captured the exact moment of the crime. I see. Could you show us... show it to us at once? Same as usual, I see. Can't you act even a little surprised? Yeah, that prosecutor's always in a sour mood. He even got annoyed when I called him uh, my second mentor. Oh, by the way, I'm Nicole Swift, up-and-coming investigative reporter. Nice to meet you, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Edgeworth's really... Enough idle chatter. Can you please just show us the photo? Fine. Here. This is the photo I took right at the moment of the gunshot. Why does that look like the dude from Ace Attorney 3? This is awful. Everyone in the eyes was running in a panic. This photo depicts the president and his two bodyguards. And for the names written on the security panel, a uh, security plan, those two must be Rookie and Knightley. Hmm? What is this? Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. Oh, you got that sharp look in your eye. Did you find something, Mr. Prosecutor? In this photo, there is a contradiction. This photo? I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. This 
scene captured in other photo and the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time my deductive uh, skills come to play. First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. The contradiction? I don't know. I want to say it's this. Okay, so I've apparently got it instantaneously. That's good. The evidence that contradicts it. Not that. Uh, you're probably still on the left side. It does look like it's on the right. But be here. Hmm. Pay extra attention to the lake area. In the case of an emergency, nightly will lead the president into the plane. Terrorists in the audience. We can't be certain that there isn't one. Huh. The laser pointer is is definitely a thing. It, it definitely worked out that way. The right side of the stage. Uh, shouldn't be that. So it's either this right here, but like this still makes sense because they can still shoot it that way. But considering the angle, that's what I'm thinking. It's the angle here that like really makes it work out the that way. So present. No, it wasn't that. You still don't see. There's uh, definitely a contradiction. It's the edge one. When you're wrong, you should just admit it. You couldn't have. Uh, I, I, I couldn't have been wrong. Uh, I had to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Maybe it's in something else. It, it, it was clearly this, right? The gun was was particularly spotted well enough. Heck. And my the lake. That's fine. Oh, what if it's the the evidence of the thing? What if they're different? That could be it, because they're like a little bit too close to each other, right? Maybe that's it. But how would... How would that work with the little bullet thing right there? That's the thing that gets me. A laser pointer is attached. We already know that. I feel like the game just let me pick a little area. And I, I can't really get out of that point out of contradiction bit. That's what it feels like to me. But if it isn't this, which like to me it's like she probably did take a picture of like from there or something. Mm. What if we just No. God dang it. Ah, oh, I'm getting hit hard with this. I don't know what it is in particular, because, like, it, it's stuck on there. I get it's a laser pointer, and the gun has a laser on it. But he's not dead. I know that, but there's nothing of evidence to prove that he's not dead. And that's the thing that's getting me. Is it this? Are you telling me that we have to figure out that he doesn't have a spot on his thing? Is that what it is? Please don't tell me that's the thing. Oh my god, it totally is! We gotta establish that first! Miss Swift, the newspaper contains a photo of the president. I'd like you to compare it with the photo uh, K took of the, third, of the scene. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh! That's right. There's something on the president's forehead that wasn't there before. Is that a mole? Mm hmm. It certainly looks like a red mole. 
That's foolish. It's hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. That all? I thought you were onto something. Turns out it was just an itty bitty bug bite. <laughs> you were talking with such a serious look on your face. I was getting all excited. Hmm. The way to the truth always begins with small contradictions. Oh, that's a great way of putting it. I've been using that for my article. Okay. I know we have to connect the laser pointer and whatnot, and the fact that it's like, it's, it's gonna be like, it, they're not in that audience, isn't it? I bet you, it's gonna be like a second shooter. Grassy noil top situation going on. What's up? What do you think? Just like a real hero, right? Yes, a new truth has come to light thanks to you. I'm trying to live up to my reputation as the second generation Yagaterasu. Still, I have to show you more of what I learned from my training. In regards to your training, I please tell me you didn't. And don't worry, it's still anything. I'm still uh, taking a break from being a great thief. That's nice to hear. I want to hurry up and find the truth, just like my father. I'm still in training, and I haven't found any uh, members to join me yet. Yagaterasu. Hmm. You said that she wanted to recruit some girls to join her. There just aren't uh, that many girls out there who want to become a great thief. I would hope not. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love it. She just wants a, a group of harm girls. I love the fact that Ace Attorney is secretly all gay. No matter what, they're all, they all want to bang the same gender and that's just how it goes. Except for Phoenix, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna be against the fandom for this. I think Phoenix is bi. He did have a girlfriend after all, and he did seem to love the bejeebus out of her. So I, I just don't see how that's not the case, that he isn't at least bi, you feel me? About the case. This photo of the president, and the president from the newspaper. No matter how you look at it, the red mole is a contradiction. Hard to believe that the red mole uh, just appeared out of thin air. Got it! Let me see the line that you said earlier. The way to the truth always begins with small thieves. That's not what I said. Stealing is an art. I arrange it to fit my style. Your version seems to have lost the true essence of my words. <laughs> I mean, she is a master thief, you know? Gotta show it to her. That's a really cool badge. It depicts a blazing sun on top of the winter for uh, winter frost, right? Yes, it symbolizes the passivity of the criminal justice system. My badge has symbols too. Uh, uh, um, it symbolizes love and justice and peace and courage and honor and kindness. What happened to truth? <laughs> I guess we could show her this. Red mole, huh? Hmm, I got it. Looks like someone got out the good old Sharpie while the president was asleep. Well, then, uh, this photo has no connection to our case. No, no, no! There's definitely a connection. After all, uh, I'm the one who stole the photo. Who stole the photo? So the photo was stolen. She didn't take it. What? Is that what she's saying? Is, is there no other? I guess there isn't. I thought there was. Uh, maybe security plans? Okay. Yeah, this is very clearly. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get anything else from this. Uh, we don't really need organizer. We could just look around, yeah? We talk to him and do something else. This is a terrible incident indeed, Mr. Edgeworth. I, Winston Payne, am willing to assist you as a prosecutor. Oh, he's just saying the same thing over and over again. Is 
Yeah, I think that chief bit is the thing. But I don't see why the chief prosecutor would be going trying to steal things. The news band for the local media. The tires are uh, stuck in the mud. That reminds me of the uh, time when I helped push your car out of the mud, sir. You just drove off and left me behind. I was totally bummed out. <coughs> now that he mentions it, I do rec seem to recall something like that happening. Fifteen minutes later, you did a U-turn and came back to pick me up. As expected of Mr. Edgeworth, I knew that you wouldn't forget about me, sir. Yes, of course not. But for those fifteen minutes, of course. <laughs> Support Gumshoe! Do you really just do too, too many mean things to him? I don't need this. Let's go to Logic. I think that's what we have to be doing here. There you go. It, it's these two. This is what I hate about Logic and actually like hurts me the most in, this, in these games. Is that I'm jumping to the conclusion already of what this to that is. Every bloody time. So I'm going to lose a lot just from this alone. I solved the mystery of the red mole. Eh? You mean it's not a bug bite, sir? It's nothing like a bug bite or an itchy rotch. This is the light from the laser pointer. You mean a gun was aimed at the president's forehead? And right after that, the second gunshot was heard. That's certainly more than just an inch, sir. Indeed. Concerned for the president's well-being. Becoming more and more uh, likely that this gun was the weapon used to in the attack. Oh, so are we, we are putting the blame on this. But why did the criminal use a laser pointer, sir? That's right! I wouldn't, uh, they would have had a beam of light shining from their hands. Pew pew pew! <laughs> Way too conspicuous! If you follow the path of the laser, you will find out who fired the shot. That's not good at all. Oh yeah! I also took uh, some other photos. Maybe the light of the laser pointer was captured on those. A long shot, but there may be a chance. Hey, could you show us those photos? Coming right up! Firstly, the photo from before the incident. Oh my god, she's so happy! Her face is taking up most of the frame. <laughs> I want to get a two-shot of me and the president. This was taken a little up uh, before the gunshots. And here's the one I showed you before. This was right after the first gunshot. And immediately after that, a second gunshot rang out. And then... What is this? Can't really see much in this photo. After that last photo, one of the running guests knocked me down. Looks like the shutter uh, clicked just then. This doesn't look uh, too, uh, too helpful, pal. Well, those were all the photos I took. Okay. I'd like to examine these in a bit more detail. Investigate which photo. Organizer. I can just check them from here? Okay, cool. I think this one's gonna give us the most information that we just did not realize. But... Oh, right there. It's on Winston already. There we go. We want the first one. What can the light for the laser pointer be? Right there. Take that. I found it. What? Look just in front of this person in the red hood. Ah! There! Yes, it's probably the light from the laser pointer. Then that red hooded person would be the assassin. We did it! It's all thanks to me, right? Right, as expected. The great thief has stolen the truth. 
<laughs> Perhaps the criminal can also be seen in the other photos. Let me examine these photos one more time. Investigate which photo? I assume this one. There he is, right, right over there. He's right here. Red-hooded assassin. Looks like they're escaping in the panic, sir. See the direction they ran in. Ah, the Samurai Dog Banner! Right. The assassin escaped towards the right side of the audience area. Detective Gumshoe? Got it, sir. Uh, we'll investigate the right side of the uh, audience area. I'm counting on you. Look at him, he's so happy to do his job. <laughs> oh. Red-headed assassin. Since the park was sealed off, there's nowhere they could have run to. If we follow the trail, we'll definitely catch them. Now then, let's continue with the investigation. We'll definitely find some traces of the assassin. And we'll do that next time, everybody, as we continue on our investigation for the Gordy Lake Park assassination attempt. Till then, thank you all for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.